Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the mysteries behind everyday experiences. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Liam the Explorer. Thanks for the suggestion, Liam. You asked, why do we laugh when we're tickled? If you've ever been in a tickle fight or laughed uncontrollably when someone poked your ribs, you've probably wondered, why is this happening? Is it just about being sensitive or is there something deeper going on? Today, we're breaking down the science behind tickling, why it makes us laugh, why we can't tickle ourselves and whether it has a purpose. Stick around as we explore this fascinating question here on Explaining Everything. Let's start with the basics. What is tickling? Tickling happens when someone lightly or repetitively touches certain sensitive areas of your body. These areas, like your ribs, armpits, neck or feet, are packed with nerve endings that are especially sensitive to touch. When these areas are stimulated, your body reacts automatically. But did you know there are actually two types of tickling? Scientists call them nismesis and gargalesis. First, nismesis is the lighter, itchy sensation you feel when something brushes against your skin, like a feather or the legs of a crawling insect. It doesn't usually make you laugh, but it does cause a reaction, like swatting the sensation away. This response is believed to have evolved as a way to protect us from potential threats, such as bugs or parasites. Second, gargalesis, on the other hand, is the more intense, laugh-inducing form of tickling that we usually think about. It happens when someone repeatedly touches or pokes sensitive areas. Unlike nismesis, gargalesis almost always elicits laughter, whether you want it to or not. What makes gargalesis so interesting is that it feels both playful and overwhelming. You might laugh uncontrollably, but at the same time, you might squirm or even try to escape. This dual reaction hints at something more complex going on beneath the surface. When someone tickles you, your brain jumps into action, processing the sensation and generating a response. Two key areas of the brain are involved. First, the somatosensory cortex. This part of the brain processes touch. It helps identify where on your body the tickling sensation is coming from and interprets the intensity of the touch. Second, the anterior cingulate cortex. This area handles emotional reactions, including laughter. When activated by tickling, it triggers the reflexive laughter we associate with the experience. Here's the fascinating part. Laughter from tickling isn't like laughter from a joke or something genuinely funny. It's a reflex, your body's automatic response to the sensation. You don't have to find it funny to start laughing, which is why you can laugh hysterically even if you're begging someone to stop. Have you ever tried to tickle yourself? If you have, you've probably noticed it doesn't work. Why is that? The answer lies in how your brain predicts your own movements. When you try to tickle yourself, your brain's cerebellum, the part responsible for coordinating movement, steps in. It predicts the sensation of your own touch, which means your brain knows exactly what's coming. Because of this, it filters out the response and the sensation doesn't feel ticklish. Tickling relies on a degree of unpredictability. When someone else tickles you, your brain can't fully anticipate the timing or intensity of their touch. 
which makes the sensation harder to ignore. This element of surprise is a key factor in what makes tickling work. So why does tickling make us laugh in the first place? Scientists aren't entirely sure, but there are a few leading theories. First, social bonding. One theory is that tickling helps strengthen social connections. It's a form of playful interaction that often happens between close relationships, like parents and children, or between friends. The laughter that comes from tickling might encourage positive bonding and communication. Second, defense mechanism. Another idea is that tickling evolved as a way to protect vulnerable parts of the body. Sensitive areas like the ribs, neck, and feet are prone to injury, so the tickling response, laughter, and squirming might have developed to keep attention on those areas or to fend off potential threats. Third, pain overlap. Interestingly, tickling activates some of the same brain areas that process pain. This might explain why tickling can sometimes feel overwhelming or even unpleasant, despite the laughter. Tickling isn't unique to humans. Many animals also respond to tickling, especially in playful or social contexts. For example, rats have been shown to laugh in ultrasonic frequencies when tickled by researchers, and primates often tickle one another during play. This suggests that tickling might serve a broader evolutionary purpose, promoting bonding and social cohesion in different species. It's also worth noting that not everyone enjoys being tickled. While some people find it fun and playful, others experience it as uncomfortable or even stressful. This variation might reflect differences in how individuals perceive touch or how their brains process the sensation. Laughing when tickled is one of those universal human experiences that feels both simple and mysterious. At its core, tickling is a mix of sensory and emotional responses processed by our brains in ways we don't fully control. Whether it's an evolutionary defense mechanism, a tool for social bonding, or just one of life's strange quirks, it's a fascinating glimpse into how our bodies and brains work together. So the next time someone sneaks up on you and tickles you, you'll know there's more to it than just laughter. And who knows, maybe this insight will make the experience a little easier to handle. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.